Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos. Just want to say thanks so much for the support on my channel, it's literally amazing. Um, I'm going to do XDC today, starting on the daily time frame. So yeah, we had a break of our ascending triangle, so that's invalidated this pattern now, and we have a technical target down to 0.054 cent there, which it is, you can see it's heading, it's making its way down basically. We're quite overextended from our EMAs on the daily, so we may have a quick relief rally just to let those come down before continuation to the downside for now. <clears throat> Remember, this is just a short-term downtrend. Obviously, we don't know exactly when it's going to end, but monthly we're still bullish, so this, we're just waiting to find a bottom, waiting to find a bottoming out structure to confirm that we're going to start heading back up, guys. So, yeah, that's our target here for now. Let's add some fibs and see where we are. Hang on. Oh no. <laughs> Let me do that again. Just want to make sure that I get it on the actual wick here. There we go. So swing low to swing high when you're finding targets to the downside, okay? So we're definitely heading to the 1618 here because we've lost the one, touched it as resistance. So yeah, it would make sense now in my opinion to head to the 1618, which actually holds up with this previous support, this pink line here. And that would make perfect sense. Maybe we could bottom out then. Great buying opportunity as well. Of course, it's not financial advice in any way. It's just um, for educational purposes. But for me now, that's our target. Our next target is 0.048 cent, which I have been saying. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. So yeah, we've got a target down to here. Because obviously we lost the low. So our next is to go to the next low, which I'm sure. Yeah, is at this line here. Is at... This support level so the 1618 so that's why we're going to be heading there and we really do need to find support that's really key to find support here because if we lose here our next targets are down here which i don't see it falling that low as long as we can find a bottoming out structure here i'd be confident that we are going to then start switching up and reversing the trend basically we're just kind of double bottomed on here haven't we in a way if we do that just t test the bottom again before continuation which is absolutely fine normal thing to see in the charts nothing to worry about Okay, on to the four hour. Honestly, guys, there's really not much to say. I wish the charts would be a bit more exciting, but on to the four hour. Now, what do we have here? Okay, yeah, so we can see now, I said we might have a little relief rally, and that's probably true, because we've got like a mini W pattern here. One bottom, two bottom. If we can get above the 20, that will take us to the 55 here. At 0 0 0.627, it'll probably have moved by then. I can't stop yawning, I'm so sorry. I'm not bored, I promise. <laughs> so yeah, we're either going to hit our head now on this 20 moving average to continue down because we've done that a few times. We're struggling to break above, fake out here, hit our head, reject, hit our head, reject, hit our head, reject, hit our head, reject. So we're probably going to see a rejection here, but if not, this W pattern could play out and we could head up to the 55, but we will probably get rejected then. But at least it gives us time for the 200 to come down and the moving averages to all line up together, okay? So that's just in my opinion, I believe that we were going to hit our head or hit our head here. Two options, but I do think we're going to hit our target down here. But maybe in the next few days, obviously this is the four hour, so a couple of days maybe to get down here. And then when we're down here, we'll see what happens. Are we going to reverse, have a relief rally, or are we just going to plot back down to the 1618, which I wish we would just get it over and done with already. Like, it's really taking its time. Okay, guys, so let's see. Have we got any more fibs? Yeah, I guess I could add... Oh, just hit my dog in the head by accident. Sorry, please. Just going to go top to bottom here. Okay, so 1618 here, we have lost it and we are using it as resistance. So we're kind of, as we know basically what I've said, if we lose a 618, come to the 786 and bounce back up here. If we reject the 0618 again, that gives us a high probability of a reversal wave and that reversal wave gives us a target minimal target to the one fib level at 0 0.056 cent so if we do get rejected here our next target is going to be here at the 1618 before then reaching the 1.272 where our technical target is following that is the 1618 here and obviously i do think we're going to break this and probably head to the 2.272 because that's where our 1618 on the daily lines up here so um as again said guys pretty normal things pretty standard as we know lose these key levels lose these key levels head sorry lose these key levels head here lose these key levels 
head to here, lose these key levels, head to here. So it's, it's not new, guys. We know this. We know what happens when with our fibs. We know that the fibs don't lie. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously we could have a range between here, but I do believe we're gonna hit our head, come back down to the one, maybe consolidate here for a little bit, but eventually I think we will hit our head, taking us to the one six one eight. Eventually, obviously these are short, really short term targets. It's quite unlikely that we will bottom out on any of these targets, but um, obviously nothing's impossible. So we'll see what happens when we reach these targets, see what happens. But I do believe our overall target is to this pink line here at 0 0.046 cent for XDC. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Subscribe to my channel. It'd be amazing. Um, like and comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.